we have a terrific opportunity today to hear from Sir Jackie Stewart. Uh, so Jackie, I'm sure, will be very well known to you because he was three times world uh, champion in Formula One motor racing. And he's also done a terrific amount for the sport of motor racing, particularly in safety developments. We honoured him with a, a degree in July this year, but it wasn't particularly for these achievements that I've just mentioned. He's been honoured by many universities uh, for these. What we were particularly wanting to honour him for, in addition to all that he's accomplished, is his untiring work for dyslexia. As we all know, dyslexia is a relatively recently recognised phenomenon, and Sir Jackie gave a very, very moving speech at the honorary graduation ceremony about the wee boy in the back of the class who didn't really understand a lot of what was going on and what he was being expected to do. And we knew that testimony from such an important public figure was worth hundreds of lectures from Pamela or me or anybody else. So we're absolutely thrilled that Sir Jackie has found time from his busy schedule to be with us uh, this afternoon. And he's going to talk to you a little bit about his experience, but he's also going to invite you to ask him questions. So it's going to be an interactive uh, session. Uh, so thank you very much once again uh, for coming and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you very much for giving up of your time to come here and, uh, and hear this little bit. Dyslexia is a confusing and a difficult subject to discuss, uh, particularly in some cases if you are indeed dyslexic. But it's fair to recognize that before we start, we should realize 10% of the population of all developed countries are dyslexics, 10%. Now that's not counting other forms of learning disability. And if you count them in, you're relating to probably 15 to 20% in total. So if 20% of this assembled group were just put to one side, it's a very large percentage of us being in this room today. Currently, there is no teacher training college that I know of anywhere in the world, not just in Scotland, not just in Britain or Europe, but the world, that has incorporated into it a full program for early recognition of young people with learning disabilities. Now, your curriculum as you set out to become professional teachers, will be a very full and a busy one. But if we were to ignore that 10% purely on the dyslexic, as in moi, that would be an incredible loss to any country. Just in our wee country here in Scotland, it means that we've got half a million people that are dyslexic just half a million on this country alone. And we've got 60 million in the United Kingdom. Now we've got about 43,600 teachers in this country, Scotland, currently. In England, there's 450,000 teachers out there. They have not been educated in any way, in a proper sense, to look after dyslexic needs or other forms of learning disabilities to any great extent. Of those 450,000 down south, only 18,000 are registered as being capable of properly educating people with learning disabilities. It's a very poor batting average. So therefore, the whole idea of you all being potentially given the benefit of providing early recognition to young people with learning disabilities is giantly important. Because if, if the world that I live in today, not sport, but in business to a large extent, 
most large multinational corporations would accept 3 or 4% as their profit margin. I mean, that's a lot if you're with 17 billion turnover. But if you lost 10%, you would go bankrupt. And at the end of the day, human resource is more valuable than anything else. 